Welcome to Streamline News for Friday, November 12, 2010, brought to you by SwimOutLead.com, the web's most popular swim shop. With Michael Phelps stepping out of the Minnesota Grand Prix, Ryan Lochte takes the spotlight as the top name at the short course yards meet, which began earlier today. Lochte is doing some off events at the meet in preparation for next month's short course world championships. Today, he made the finals in the 100 breast and 100 fly. Chloe Sutton, who won the overall grand prize in the last Grand Prix series, is in Minnesota as well, placing fifth in the prelims of the 200 freestyle, just behind top qualifier Missy Franklin. Michael Phelps is not the only notable name skipping a meet this weekend. New Zealand's Moss Burmester, a finalist in the 200 fly in Beijing, will not be swimming in the New Zealand Short Course Championships this weekend and is even considering retirement. The 29-year-old was unable to defend his Commonwealth title in the 200 fly last month, finishing in 10th place. He told local media that because he hasn't been swimming well, he's lost sponsor funding, which means he might, not, he might have to give up the sport in order to make a living. We'll keep you posted on any official announcement Burmester makes. And back here in the States, the Bowl School girls and boys high school teams blazed through the 1A Florida State High School Championships yesterday. The boys team is Swimming World Magazine's reigning national high school champion and the girls finished second. The top swim of the meet was the boys 200 medley relay in which Bowles came within a second of the national high school record of 129.79 they set last year. Ryan Murphy and Sergio Lujan Rivera were on that team last year and returned to help Bowles swim a 130.78, the second fastest swim in high school history. Based on Murphy's 48.58 in the 100 back, and Lujan Rivera's 55-34 in the 100 breasts, Bowles looks to be in good position to repeat as national champions. In an interview on the Morning Swim Show a couple of months ago, Bowles assistant coach John Sakovich said none of the Bowles swimmers will be fully rested for the meet as they are preparing for junior nationals and senior nationals next month. Check our high school channel in the coming days for a full recap of the 1A Florida high school championships. The German short course nationals are serving as the country's trials for next month's world championships and the crowd was treated to a national record on the first day. Yannick Lieber swam a 408.52 in the 400 IM, breaking his own two-year-old record by more than a second. Today's swim saw the official competitive return of Britta Steffen, who sat out the European championships this summer due to lack of training. Stefan won the 100 free in 52.75, the fourth fastest time in the world. And Marcus Diebler took down world record holder Paul Biederman in the 200 freestyle, winning by two tenths with a 143.75. Marcus's older brother, Stefan, won the 50 fly with a 22.51, just a little bit slower than the 22.49 he posted at the Rio de Janeiro stop of the World Cup. And we've got a full recap of both days of swimming at SwimmingWorld.com. The Asian Games start later today with prelims in Guangzhou, China. This will be the first international competition of the year for pretty much the entire Chinese squad, as well as a chance for Japan's team to improve on some of their impressive swims from the Pan Pacific Championships. Will Kasuke Kitajima break 59 seconds in the 100 breast? Will Aya Terakawa do the same in the 100 back? And how will Korea's Taewon Park do in the 400 freestyle against the Chinese duo of Zhang Lin and Sun Yang? We'll have recaps of each final session as results become available on SwimmingWorld.com. That's Streamline News for today. Thanks for watching.